In this video, we're gonna be talking about the fun way to brighten eyes in Photoshop. Now, what is fun? Fastest, efficient, realistic, and non-destructive. Guys, here's the thing. No matter with how much light you capture the image of your subject, the eyes will always turn out to be gray because our eyes are grayish, actually. It is you who need to whiten it in post. But here's the thing. Whitening eyes can be very simple. What's difficult is to find a balance. You don't need to make the eyes so bright that it looks like an alien. Neither you need to make it so dull that it doesn't look like whitening at all. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and before we begin, a very big thank you and shout out to Andres Vargas for submitting this image, for sending it over, for retouch. And without him, this tutorial wouldn't have been possible. If you want your images to be retouched, do let me know down in the comments below or you can even message me on Facebook directly if you can find me there. So let's jump straight in. So the first thing that you need to understand before widening the eyes are the basic concepts of blend modes in Photoshop. If you have not watched the video yet, go ahead and watch it out right here. So, what was the blend mode that brightens things? Screen, right? So, we can make a copy of it and change the blend mode to screen. That brightens up everything and we can mask out eye in this one. But I would suggest, instead of copying the layer, add an adjustment layer, anything will do, levels will do, and change the blend mode to screen. It will do the same thing. Now, why I suggested this? Because if you copy this image, the image file size, the Photoshop file size will be much bigger, number one. And number two, if you make any changes to this, like if you sharpen it, if you add a little bit of contrast or levels to it, if you copy the image and apply the blending mode there, you need to make the changes in that layer too and it's gonna be messy. So instead, add an adjustment layer, it acts as a virtual copy and whatever changes you make in this layer will be replicated in the virtual copy that's in the adjustment layer. Now, it brightens up pretty much everything. So we need to mask out the whites of the eyes. But here's the thing, the levels adjustment layer already comes with a mask. We need to invert the mask so that we don't see the effect anywhere and then we can paint in the eyes. So to invert the mask, select the mask and press Control i this removes the effect from everything because black are the areas where the effect is not being applied, where the layer is not visible. So we need to paint in with white. So take the brush, make sure white is selected, press X to toggle between foreground and background colors. St strange brush is selected. So let's select a normal brush. There you go. And paint in the whites of the eyes. Okay. Currently it's the grays of the eyes, but <laughs> Paint in the whites of the eyes. Don't have to worry about the corners. Don't have to worry about spilling and just chopping off. You don't, don't worry about anything. Okay. There you go. And this eye. I'm quickly doing this and I'll show you why you need not worry about spilling. Guys, here's the thing. If you carefully fill every single corner, it's gonna take you a lot of time. Instead, what you can do, you can carelessly fill everything and later carefully remove the areas that you don't want. It's gonna be much easier because you have straight lines here instead of corners where you might wanna decrease the size of the blush, brush and it's gonna be very, very clunky. So, take the brush. Now, this time select black and paint over the areas that you don't want. There you go. Because it's a straight line, it's going to be really, really simple for you. There you go. Now let's paint over the eyeballs. Also guys, I just wanted to mention that make sure you don't apply the effect on the corner of the eyeball, on this line right here, because this line accentuates the eyeball. This line gives the eyeball a dimension. So you don't want to brighten up that area. So very carefully, just paint over that area. Because when that area is dark, it actually makes the eyeball pop out. So make sure it is dark. There you go. Do the same with the right eye. Now the eyes look pretty neat and white, very nice. If you zoom out just a little, they look really good. But if you zoom out more, it looks alien. You don't want that, right? It really looks like an alien. So you need to dim it down. Uh, just get the opacity down. This is good. 
I think 40 is around. Good. Before, after. Now, to bonus tip, to add dimension to whitening of the eyes, you can apply a blender if so. Increase it to an extent into which it's visible, maybe 49 is okay, so before and after. Alright, right click on it, go to blending options, drag the slider of the underlying layer, okay. What are we doing actually is that we are removing the whites from the areas that are dark, thus giving the eyes a dimension. So the underlying layer, drag the slider from the left because we want to remove the effect from the darker areas of the underlying layer, not the current layer, okay. From the left, there you go. As you can see, the effect is being removed from the areas that are dark. We don't want to go that further. This is fine. Now, press and hold alter option, click on it and make the transition a little smooth. Watch this, how better it looks right now. There you go. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. The transition is much smoother, much more better. You can always increase the whitening. And decrease it there you go let's look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after this might seem to you a very little thing and a very little difference but when you do a lot of these little things they all join in they all add in and form a very big thing and makes the images so much more gorgeous it's the little things in life that matter all right so we are done for this tutorial we are done whitening but if you just wanted to know how to whiten the eyes, you can go now. Thank you so much for watching. But I'm going to do a little more retouching right here. We have some time. So if you want to make the skin a little more brighter, let's add a curves adjustment layer. And what area in curves is the skin? Let's just make it a little bigger. To find out, click on this and let's click on the skin. It creates a point where the skin is in the curves diagram. So let's make it a little brighter. There you go. It's looking nice. Now you want to add a little more contrast. You want to make these areas a little darker. So where are these areas? These areas are somewhere here. So click on it. There you go. Make it a little darker. There you go. So much more difference we have made in just few seconds before after. Now if you want to make it, if you want to give it an Instagram filter like kind of thing. So for that, add another curves. Don't mess with that. If you add too many points, for, for example, if you add a point here, if you mess with this, this is also going to get affected. So instead, don't mess with it right now. Create another curves, okay? Now if you want to add something Instagram-ish, let's take it a little upwards from the left. This fades things. Now, create this. There you go. There you go. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. This makes things a little fade. It's kind of too much. There you go. This is okay. Before, after. Want to add an Instagram blue to it? Move on to the blue channel and do the same. Increase the blues and do the you thing. There you go. Before, after. So let's group the curves. So this is the before. This is the after. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And just remember, you need to find a balance that happy place between making it just like an alien and not making anything at all, not whitening at all. All right. Find that balance. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll come up with more eye retouching tutorials this week. So stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.